Welcome to Extreme Overclocking Yobbo. Thanks for joining us here. I was just in the, in the process of doing a bit of a, a clean up and sorting out some hardware and motherboards and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what I got. Ding. Hey, this is some of the older uh, motherboards that are kind of collectible. A couple of them people are pretty fond of. Uh, TH7, NF7 over here. Going to 775 land. So, this is sort of all munted because I'm planning on modding that heat sink off it from a EP45 Extreme, EP45T Extreme that I had, which uh, I managed to kill. And I had a EP45T UD3, UD3R, which I killed too. And through no fault of my own, I've got a dead skull trail, unfortunately, but I thought it's worth pulling out for a look -see. Um there's a three step better 775 boards as I said but uh, P35 DS4 um, there's a P5 Q3 Deluxe there which I haven't had much luck with to be fair um, 780 and 790i ultra tri SLI boards which could run the three uh, 9800 GX2s which were twin cards back in the day six way SLI all that so I'm going to move on to Gen 1 uh, and this one's a P55A UD3R. There's nothing super stand out in that lot. I don't know, uh, people may argue the point with me, I hope they do. Tell me what you reckon the best motherboard was in the P55. Um, that's just down there for argument's sake really. Um, it's a P67 version uh, Maximus 4 Extreme. The Z68 version came out with the Z on the end of the extreme there. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's, it's a high end board, so I chucked it down there. Um, we get out, but I think I'll start my way up this end and work my way that way, explaining a little bit of what's happening. Here we start on some pretty fun stuff. So that's the Z77 OC formula. I've got two of them. One's got um, uh, a couple of bent pins, my fault. Uh, they both work perfectly, uh, as far as I'm aware. I've never had a killer CPU to run in them, but um, uh, best thing to overclock memory uh, on and using uh, generally PSC or uh, uh, some good BBSE or some nice Samsungs. Uh, moving on from the Z77, you would then want to get yourself a Z. 97 OCF, which is the single best motherboard for bidding DDR3 memory, testing it, getting high frequencies and running LN2. Maximus Gene as well. I wish I had one of those. Um, got the opportunity to try and rebirth one and make it live again, but even removing BIOS chips and flashing them and stuff, despite no physical damage, was uh, impossible. I've got two of those. I'm running the other one at the moment, bidding some, bidding some kits. I've got two... Z97X SOC forces. One's an LN2 model, which I don't think was ever sold. It was a, a prize, as far as I'm aware, for, from my previous owner. Neither of them work. Uh, boot code 20 error. Um, if there's anyone out there who can sub uh, substantiate the, the rumour that if you get some particular kit of Sector 5, it might be the C10 2500, you might be able to get them to run again, but it seems far-fetched to me. I don't know. Um, so pipe up if you've done that. But I've kept them gigabyte in their soldered BIOS chips. I've kept them so that um, I can flash the BIOSes, but I haven't got the I've got the USB BIOS flash, but I don't have the, the clamp that goes onto the, the chips. Or maybe I'll have to desolder them. Um, what have we got? Oh, we've got to get to move on to some more fun stuff. Now... I might point out also that both of my Z97s have zero rear I.O. And I mean PS2 ports and everything. They've both been LN2 to death before. But I use a... Uh, here's one here. PCI USB 3. Powered card and... Bob's your uncle. Um, I believe there's a... 
um, a fuse that goes on them and you can bypass that but uh, I haven't yet hooked up or bothered to do it because the USB 3 works anyway. <coughs> then I've got um, another I.O. problem, uh, the Z170 uh, OC formula in the, the, the full ATX size, size board, the ATX, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, IOs have gone on that too. But I've got a Z270 Apex, and although these are good, the MOCF, the Mini ATX board, is a far preferred board and competes with the Apex. Uh, the Apex probably takes more records. Since then, there's been, the, oh, sorry, that's the Apex 9. Then you've got the 10 and 11, which are great boards as well. I don't have anything like that yet. So, my Apex is in my main rig, so running my 7700K and B-Dot. X58, love it. Just really, really love it. It's such a fun platform, so many good chips. There's Xeon, so you can serve a memory, the whole lot. Um, that's a, uh, I've had several. Um, I've I managed to kill a couple too. I was testing a CPU for somebody on a UD3R, which is a, oh no, that was a 775 board, sorry. And I, and I killed a chip, but uh, anyway, I killed a UD5 not long ago and I've replaced it with another UD5. I've got an X, that's an X58A. This is an X58 Extreme. A little bit harder to come by, but the X58A sort of overshone it a little bit. And then I've got your yummy mummy over here. The X58A OC uh, from Gigabyte. I'm about to use it to three way, um, been three way MEMS. I'm going to eventually put on the cello, but uh, I've got an external. Uh, water pump combo sort of thing there I'll, I'll, I'll put quick quick disconnects on this the eco ones everything's low profile smds and everything it was made to take world records i should have it around the other way because the io shield it's just tiny the io anyway. step on anything yum this may be very well be my favorite motherboard i'm not sure you always have a fun motherboard when you get a good CPU or two to go with it and some nice ones, don't you? I've got um, uh, some 2200 uh, C7 PSCs, two, two gigabyte, uh, sorry, two, two DIMM kits. Normally you should run a four DIMM bin kit in, in a, something like an X79 or X99, but these ones work perfectly together. It's almost like they were made at the same time with by the exact same manufacturing, but it's like they're just dead on, uh, bin separately. But 3930K I had in this, uh, I think I've posted hardware box scores of 5.3, 5.4 running Cinebench on chiller. Um, positive temperatures though, I don't think that was negative temperatures, might have been around zero if I was lucky. But just love it. And you've got your, um, it's, a, it's a HEDT platform, just like the X58 was, that was the beginning of HEDT there. Not really the beginning, but yeah. Um, the, the what have you got? Uh, three times sixteen PCI Express lanes. It's, you've got to have the right Xeon or right high end um, i7 in it to make it work. Uh, to have the extra PCI Express lanes available to you. But um, yeah, I've run four by five eighty GDXs in there uh, and posted them on hardware board. So that was a a really, really fun board that. Next in HEDTs is you go to your, your X99 boards. So something like this. This isn't the one I wanted to show you because this isn't really an overclocking board. I think this is the less pins in the socket version uh, of, the, of the socket. This is what you really want to get. Um, Gigabyte SOC Champion. I've got the uh, water blocks on there. I've got a 5820K. I think it may have killed another board, but I think the CPU might be doing it. might be a, a board killer, so I'm, I'm loath to do it. I'm going to try and find a cheap Xeon to do that and test a couple of uh, X99 boards I do have here. What are these? I just pulled out a few trinket things. Things I do. Those uh, side tunnels off the side uh, panels for your cases. 
I can mount that wherever I like, lean it on whatever I like, and get some good airflow. So these old things from like P5 Premium over there. Got a heap of them uh, when I was when I was younger. 775 was cup my cup of tea then. Uh, power pass through uh, priming switch for the uh, a pump uh, for a water cooling. There you go, water cooling commissioned. Oh, where is it? That's a concept by Fast Fate from OCN. It lives in in the city. Implementation by Master Chicken. You might want to use something like that if you're having trouble with your starter ports on board. Voltage controller for a DDR1 sir. I'll just pull this out. I painted it, but it's off a server. I reversed the fan. If you're doing sub zero or you're going to take the memories really cold or anything like that, you, you want to suck the air away as opposed to push down on it. Thanks, Balant, for that tip when I was learning. When I was learning, I'm always learning. Learning every day. Never have your head up your ass. Um, and that's it for the motherboard. Uh, run. I haven't shown you the. Should I? Let's just do it quickly at the end of the video. So, Z270 Apex. I mean, that's a board you just. If you've got a good one, hold on to it. It's just fantastic. A lot of fun. DDR4 can be a pain though. It's my other Z97 there. It's at the moment. Uh, some BDSE at 2200. Just building that up. Some more memories and just having a crack with. Um, some more motherboards that there's a couple of extra diagnostics I just want to do. Who cares about that one? But um, so that's the chiller loop. So you've seen it before if you've seen any of my, my vids. But that's the EK fittings I'm going to fit to SOC, sit that there. Sorry, the OC X58, sit that there, etc. Um, I don't think there's too much else to say here. Uh, something bugger me. No, well, hope you enjoyed that tour. I'm going to do um, some more videos. Uh, just one second. On the AMD side, we've got a LAN party uh, NF4 SLI. We've got a, a AN, sorry, A8N SLI with those uh, older SLI card chips that you do turn around. Um, uh, 990FX AUD7 uh, Crosshair for Extreme Crossblade Ranger back in two, and Crosshair V Formula Z So after I finish uh, binning a few of these sticks I'll uh, maybe do a video with a couple of the different ICs I might go through the different ICs how to spot them and stuff like that off uh, codes on, on, on Corsair and G-Skill um, and uh, spot certain PCBs for PSC, for example, by codes KO and ST that are on them, brain power PCBs. Uh, just a few tips and tricks. I'm by no means the world's expert. You're talking about uh, guys like, you know, Splay, Blant, uh, MLR, KLLR, 88, uh, Nox Knight. Uh, a lot of the OCN guys tag, you know. Um, but there's a lot of information that can be passed. I, I don't think there's much in the way YouTube videos are going to cover some of what I'm going to have in there. So uh, if, if you're interested in that at all, you know the drill. Click on subscribe. There's a bell next to it. And click on the bell as well. If you don't mind. So I might run uh, this as a play, uh, playlist. I might just do the memory as a playlist. I might do this as a hardware sort of list. I'm going to go go through the memory. So I might make that its own video to go into each playlist. I don't know. Anyway, keep tuned if you want to see some more about memory. They seem to have been the most popular videos I've done. The, you know, stuff like OEM uh, kits that are 2400 overclocked uh, to, what do I have? sorry, uh, 2133 E dies and stuff like that overclocked high. Um, and uh, yeah, usually the OEM stuff when I grab some uh, random sticks and have a crack. So I hope you enjoyed this. I haven't put, put up much lately. I've got a bit of stuff to do, it's just I haven't done it. All right, so stay cool. Dink, bloody dink.